Hello everyone. Welcome to 5G Gaming Door Guide. I am Daniel. Uh, in this video and over the course of this 10 video series, I will be attempting the quest recipe for disaster. And yes, uh, this will be a 10 video series. Uh, this video will be the opening of the quest. Uh, and then I will proceed to uh, do each of the subparts of the quest. Uh, so th this part uh, here is uh, what's called Recipe for Disaster, Another Cooked Quest. So this is how you s uh, start the quest. All right, and then after uh, this uh, small part is started, and then it, uh, you see here it says difficulty special, uh, length very, very long. All right, uh, so uh, since it, uh, special by special, it unpacks into 10 subquests. All right, and then, all right, the 10 subquests, you're freeing uh, eight different, um, uh, I don't want to say eight different people. Uh, there's 10 different parts where you're freeing You know, fill in the blank. Alright, so part one, we will free the goblin generals. There's two generals in, in that one part. Part two, we will be freeing the mountain dwarf. Part three, we will be freeing e Evil Dave. Part four, we will free the Lumbridge Sage. Part five, we will free Pirate Pete. Part six, we will free Scratch Ugalgui. Part 7, we will free Sir Amic Vars. Part 8, we will free uh, King Awaugay. Awaugay. Uh, and then after this intro and the 8 parts, that's 9 videos, uh, then there, there is a final battle in which we defeat the Kalanaromancer. Alright, so 10 videos total. Right, and yeah, I'll do that final battle in a separate video. So 10 total videos for this quest. Uh, please look at these together in a series or view the individual part as necessary uh, so that uh, you can be uh, successful in this quest. It is one, uh, it, I believe this quest is the longest quest in the entire game uh, by far. Uh, as far as memory is concerned, uh, I don't remember any quest being longer. Uh, there is a um, quest, uh, Dimension of Disaster, uh, which I will eventually be getting to, that uh, is repeatable. But that uh, is, um, uh, that's the other special, uh, let me see here, uh, by difficulty. Uh, so let me scroll down here. Special Recipe for Disaster and Dimension of Disaster. but. Dimension of Disaster, uh, one time is a little, the first time was a little hard, and then it's repeatable, uh, and, but the repeatable times you save the things from the previous iteration, some of the things, and it becomes shorter. So, uh, by far, I would say that the recipe for disaster is the longest. Uh, Alright, so let's get started. Uh, uh, so we uh, recipe for Disaster was uh, 2006. Uh, requirements only the cook's assistant and level 10 cooking. So you can start this quest immediately after doing the cook's assistant when you first start the game. Alright, uh, you need, uh, of course, level 10 cooking. That takes, um, what, a few minutes maybe. Uh, so you can start this uh, uh, essentially immediately. Uh, you not necessarily you will not necessarily be able to complete all the subparts, but you can complete the starting point. All right. Uh, required items: you will need Eye of Newt, Greensman, Greenman, Ale, Rotten Tomato, Ashes, and Fruit Blast. Uh, now the I'm gonna uh, make a distinction here. You have Fruit Blast and Premium Fruit Blast. All right. Uh, both of which you can buy from Grand Exchange. But only the one that says Fruit Blast works. The one that says Pre-Made Fruit Blast does not. Right? The Pre-Made Fruit Blast 
is it the one you buy from the bar that's already made? The the fruit glass without the word pre-made uh, is a uh, player made using a cocktail shaker, a cocktail glass, two lemons, pineapple, and orange. All right, so uh, make sure you get the one that says fruit glass, not the one that says pre-made. Okay, uh, the ashes, you can burn the logs and then uh, 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 wait and it'll turn into ashes. Uh, the Raymond's Ale, there's some um, uh, bars in RuneScape, uh, bar in RuneScape that sells that. I can't remember where it's at, but I got mine on Grand Exchange. The Eye of Newt, I got from the uh, Herbler Shop. Uh, you can get from the Herbler Shop. I got mine from Grand Exchange. However, the Rotten Tomato does not uh, buy or sell on Grand Exchange. It's not tradable. Uh, and I'm going to show you in a moment uh, where I got that from. Actually, I'll show you now. Uh, here is the Rotten Tomato Chest. Uh, you can buy them for one coin each. Uh, and this is in Sears Village. Here is Sears Village uh, near Catherby, uh, north of Ardon. Uh, and I am standing next to the uh, Sears Village Lodestone. So that's where you get the Rotten Tomato from. Uh, there may be other shops, but this is the one that I happen to remember. So that's the one I'm showing you. Uh, combat. Uh, sub quests. All right. Some sub quests have no combat. In the conclusion of the recipe for disaster, you will need to defeat several enemies up to level 98 without players or familiars. But uh, however, other sub quests do have combat. So uh, I'm going to separate each sub part into a separate video so as to. Uh, minimize the uh, effect of overloading you with possibly up to 10 hours of video in, uh, in one go. I would not do that to you. So separate videos it is. Uh, if, we end, if we complete this uh, quest in less than 10 hours, great. Uh, however, I'm preparing for the worst by separating this into separate videos. Uh, this, as it says here, this uh, quest is very, very long. It is the longest one in the game. Uh, okay, the rewards access to the Colonum, Colonaromancer's chest, and much, much more. I will show you where that is uh, in just a moment. Uh, and then we will talk to the cook in Lumber's Castle right exactly where we finish the cook's assistant quest. Uh, all right, so uh, before we get before we get started, uh, let me point out. Uh, please drop us a like, uh, and then uh, comment as you, as you're going through this video series, uh, because this quest is very challenging. Uh, other viewers that view this video after you might benefit from your comments, and then of course I would benefit from knowing your feedback as to what additional information you might need, and I can create uh, further videos to, to help guide you through things. Uh, Alright, so please put those comments. Uh, share the videos so pe more people that need this information can find it more easily. Uh, subscribe, notification bell, so that uh, when I uh, respond to your comments, you'll, uh, you'll be notified of that. Uh, you know, Post new videos to show you where things are, and of course, all my videos, at, at this time, all my videos are free uh, and will uh, continue to be. Uh, uh, of course, I could set up memberships, but I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm making all my videos free uh, you know, for the guides. So if you could uh, show support with a super things, that would be fantastic. All right. So... Um, a uh, long introduction because this is a very long quest. I want to make sure that you know everything to get started. Uh, I'm going to head over now to Lumbridge. Uh, so Lumbridge loads done. So before I officially start the quest, let me just look here. Uh, there is recipe for disaster that is marked as good. 
All right, now if you go in uh, down the trap door here, And I want to show this to you. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to turn that off. I'm sorry. Uh, let, let me let me do this again. Uh, I went to the Lumbridge Lodestone. Uh, I went to the Lumbridge Lodestone, and I I went into the castle, and I went down the trap door here. All right, so uh, let me show you on the world map again. Lumbridge load's done. Uh, and then I went inside the castle. And here is the quest start recipe for disaster. Uh, and then uh, uh, down this here trap door. And I want to show this to you because uh, after you start the quest, there will be a chest here. All right, and as you complete the the, the sub parts and as you complete the chat, the quest, all of the sub quests, and defeat the colony Mancer, more and more will be added to this chest as you complete parts. So I want to show that to you after we do the sub part. All right, so uh, stay with me. I'll so we're going to talk now to the cook. Right, do you have any other quests for me? All right, so let's see. Uh, option one, angry. It makes me angry. Um, I'm not sure if that looks right. Uh, all right, well. All right. All right. Well, anyways, uh, I don't think it matters which one you pick. But uh, in the end, it says one: what seems to be the problem, or two: no things I don't want to help, or three: how 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 do you still have a job? Uh, I think the only one that will actually start the quest is what seems to be the problem. Option one. All right. So it, we go through this dialogue, and all right. So long dialogue. Uh, and here we go. Uh, recipe for disaster. Another quick quest. All right. So required items. Uh, you know we we already have all this information uh, from before. Uh, we added another quick quest. All right, so we're going to go ahead and accept the video. Uh, I would love to do that. How what do I have to do? So we'll give the explanation on uh, how to do that. So then uh, we use the ashes on the fruit blast. Now make sure it's the fruit blast and not the pre-made blast. It has to be the fruit blast. So use ashes. Use ashes on the fruit blast. All right, so now we have the dirty blast. Okay, and then give the items to the cook, and the sub quest is complete. But there is a uh, uh, let's see, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Cutscene. Uh, they they will show you. Uh, they will show you. So just uh, watch the scene, and you'll understand what uh, is happening. All right, so talk to cook. Great, you're back. Did you bring the ingredients? Uh, I know where I need. I am new. Uh, glass and green ones, you know, rotten tomato and a dirty glass. So we have those four items here, and here we go. All right, so you've completed. So you have one quest point, an invitation to the most amazing feast you'll ever see, and access to the Colinaro Mancer's chest and two treasure hunter keys. All right. You absolutely must go through the, the dining room door just there and see the feast I have prepared. All right, so I simply won't take no for an answer. All right, so here is where you will see the cutscene that you need to, to see in order to do the other parts. Uh, however, uh, if you do not 
go in the door, you cannot start the other subquest. Uh, so you'll notice you notice it does not say that the quest is complete, only that that subpart is complete. So we need to go into the dining room next to the kitchen to see what the feast uh, he was talking about. So here, here we go. Uh, do I need to turn on audio? Let me see. Uh, settings. Uh, audio. Uh, mm. Uh, glow, turn off the glow when we right. Here you go. So the fortune teller arrives, the barrack fortune teller arrives just in time to freeze time. So you see, uh, the time is frozen in this room. Let's hack to the fortune teller. background noise was just uh, a little bit too loud. All right, so so that was the, the idea here. Now, if we open up now the quest log, you will see in the recipe for disaster and other quick quest, you will see eight different parts here. All right, so these are the parts. The first one I'm going to do is the freeing the goblin generals. Uh, that's uh, the part one I'm going to do. Although uh, it's in a different order here, uh, but I'm going to do it in you know, that order. So, uh, for example, a free in the Goblin Generals would be like, uh, it would be here. Uh, and then I, I can go back or forward. Uh, so, back. All right. So, so, you can view each of the parts uh, in here. All right. So, all right, so one last thing. I'm going to uh, pass through the barrier. 
I can click on any one of them to pass through, and I'll end up back in the kitchen, uh, dining room, I guess, uh, the or lobby. I, I don't know. Uh, where, wherever Jack puts you, that's where you're just. No, 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 And we go, we go to the corner where it was, uh, where I mentioned before I started the quest. Uh, and if you go, don't attack the spider, just right here. All right now, you see now there is a chest here. All right, uh, and if you click on the chest, uh, there's a bank. Uh, I know the plastic that pre made blast, I don't need it. But if you right click and buy, buy food, now you have access to buy food in this chest. Right. Or the next thing is you can right click and buy items. All right, so right now uh, there isn't really anything of use in there until you complete the subparts. But as you complete the subparts, both uh, both the item items and the food chest will have more and more items in it. All right, so uh, you will be using some of these food items during the subparts of the quest. So uh, just familiarize yourself with this. Uh, with this, all right, uh, all right. So, and then of course you can go. You can collect your. You're just like on any bank, collect your grand exchange offers there as well. But that's that's it for now. Uh, that's it for now on this uh, video, and I look forward to seeing you in the rest of this series for the other subparts. Uh, you know, please. Please, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, turn on the notification bell so that uh, as the uh, rest of the series becomes available, that you you will have access. Uh, I should be doing those in short order. So uh, who knows? Most of you will already have access to the videos by the time you're seeing this. But subscribe anyway because I'm always adding stuff. Uh, like, comment, share, all that. So. All right, take care. I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, next video.